Hello fabulous Pisces, welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2017, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have got an active sky, important lunar activity, and a Saturn on the move. I'm so excited to tell you about it. So let's start with the full moon in the first days of the month. This full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with home and family and family of origin in terms of where you live and where you have come from. And it has to do with the foundations of your life and of your sky. Now, as I look at this, this full moon is speaking with Neptune in your sign in a conversation of some tension. So Mercury also goes retro on the same day, which is the ruling planet of Gemini. So all of this does suggest to me there's a lot of confusion taking place at this time. For those of you who are looking to buy or sell or move, I would strongly encourage you, if you can, try to delay it a little bit. It just looks like there may be expectations that are different than the reality. Uh, it looks like if any contracts are signed, especially if they have anything to do with what's happening on the home front, uh, what it is that you think you're getting is not gonna be that. Uh, there could be very important uh, small print that you end up overlooking, especially where it comes to matters of home. Um, so again, leases, buying, selling, uh, home-based businesses as well. You've got to be a little bit mindful of how it is that, uh, that you're working with documents and things like that. And I would also say even normally like Mercury retrograde is a time for repairs. They tend to be good. But around this full moon, if you can delay, it would probably be a good idea. The energy does switch up considerably as we get to the second part of the month. So you really don't have to wait that long. And so if you can, again, delay. Now this part of the sky also has to do with family of origin, particularly our parents. So this is where you may want to be a little bit mindful as well. Um, it is possible that there's something you're expecting to hear, some news that you're expecting and it's not being delivered. It's possible at this time that a family member may not be able to be completely straightforward with you as well. Uh, it is also possible with this that uh, there's some concern that shows up and I'm so, so, so very sorry to say that. But look, here's the thing. Here's the great thing. The energy switches up. It's very unlikely that any of this would manifest but it is possible under this energy and as we get to the middle of the month the energy switches up considerably so just know that and know that at the end of it all right we have this foundation we have love at the foundation of it all and that is truly what matters so if you can remember the love if you feel like there's a someone in your family of origin who, where you don't really know what's going on, but you wanna know, you wish you could be clear than you are. You wish there was forgiveness for some people, but it doesn't feel like it, or it feels like it, but not really. Um, you wish that they were able to talk to you more clearly. Any of that, this will give you an opportunity to look at that, to accept that, to realize where your power is and where it isn't, and to decide to bring love where you can because the love really is so strong it is so strong this month and it especially magnifies the further we get and it magnifies with the energy switching up right it switches up as we get to the second part of the month it's right around the middle of the month that we are going to have a new moon now this is a very powerful new moon at that it is a new moon happening close to Saturn and Venus, speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus and on what's called the galactic center. So the galactic center is a very uh, potent and powerful point in the sky. And this is said to be the birthplace of the universe. So there's something very special that happens here that represents not only a beginning, but a powerful beginning that propels you forward. And there's a lot of luck with this energy. There's a lot of happiness around this energy as well. I feel like this is gonna be a big reward moment for the sacrifices of the last three years as Saturn was moving through the same part of the sky. 
So now here we are. For you, a lot of this energy is going to play out. Now, speaking of parents, this part of the sky for some people also speaks to the father in particular. So this can be very good news, very good developments where it comes to your father. But this part of the sky also has to do with things like career and social standing, and it has to do with life purpose as well. So if you think about it, in much of the world, in most of the world now, uh, we take our father's last name. So we take our father's last name because in some way they speak to, they're an archetypal energy for our social standing. So there's this way of understanding this part of the sky. But having said that, this is really good where it comes to career, where it comes to you advancing what you do, and where it comes to you feeling more in alignment with life purpose. So very big, quick opportunities can show up for you at this new moon. You do want to be mindful of that. The opportunities can feel like they have come up out of nowhere. They have a financial prosperity as part of them. And also, this can be a chance for interviews, advancements of all kind can go very, very well. Now remember, Mercury is retrograde right at this new moon, but goes direct within a few days. So don't worry too much about that part of it, but especially if it's an opportunity that's come around again, it'll be that much more blessed. For some of you, this is gonna play out more in terms of what's happening on a life purpose level, and you may feel very well that you are being propelled in a positive direction. It's like the confusion, the uncertainty, am I enough, do I feel comfortable? All of those questions that show up in the first part of the month are resolved, are put behind you, and you are being propelled forward. So very powerful time to realize how it is and where it is that the universe is working overtime to align you with a higher vision for your life. Now, where it comes to matters of love, what we have happening this month, as we move in the second half of the month, Saturn will change signs. So this is a really big deal. This is a shift of energy that's gonna last a good three years, a better part of the next three years. And this is Saturn and Venus meeting while both of these planets are newly in a new part of the sky. And this part of the sky for you has to do with friendship and groups that you belong to. A lot of people out there are going to be feeling real reality check moments where it comes to matters of love. For you, it may very well be friendship that facilitates some of this reality check for you. So if you are someone who is open to meeting someone new, it could very well be that looking to your friends may be the space in which you are hoping to welcome love into your life, whether it is a friend or whether it is that they introduce you to somebody or whether it is that while hanging out with your friends, you're more open to love. So all of that is beautiful. If you do connect with somebody new, especially uh, as we move into the second part of the month, know that there is real long-term potential. But at the same time, just know that there's a sense here of ultimately seeing yourself and where you are in love and why through anyone new that you meet and from there deciding how to move forward. Your friends could also be someone that you're looking at and realizing if they help you to move towards greater love or not and why and from there you're able to make choices that move you in the direction that you desire. Those of you who are in an established bond, I want you to be a little bit mindful of this. As I said, there's this friendship connection happening here. I feel as I look at this that it could very well be a friend who in some way is part of bringing the reality check to you. But here's the thing, it's a Mercury retrograde month, okay? So yes, Mercury is only retrograde for like this time, this like three week cycle in the middle of it. But really, we're, we're gonna be feeling Mercury retrograde all month. So just know when Mercury retros, it's like miscommunications and uncertainties become possible. Um, however, at the same time, you want to take what information comes and decide what it is that you're going to do with it. Maybe the decision isn't immediate. Maybe you wanna wait until you get towards the very end of the year or the beginning of next. But if it should be that a friend in some way is part of bringing that reality, you have to decide if it's an opinion or if it's fact, if there's miscommunication or misunderstandings there and go forward. But ultimately what this can do is bring you closer to your partner. 
by presenting them with this information, you get to decide what it is and what sense of it you are going to make together. Now, the other way that this energy can manifest as well is, you know, I got to say, I'll be straightforward with you about this. It might be a little bit of your partner saying, oh, you're spending too much time with your friends or, you know, what's up with that? I'm your friend. I should be your best friend, like that kind of thing. But ultimately, that will help you to understand uh, the healthy connection that you have with your partner and how to ensure that you have that right balance in your life between friends and love. What I love about this month for you is that there's a real sense of moving forward and there's a real sense of moving high. Like you have earned your place up that ladder. So whether that's an internal ladder in terms of a, a life purpose that you are reaching and aligning with, or whether that's more practical in terms of your career or an interview opportunity that shows up, you are moving up in the world and you're feeling really good about the things that you are achieving. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to astrofabulous.com or nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, plus unlimited access to special horoscopes as well. All of this in the superstar space. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.